Okay, hi, I'm sitting here in front of the federal court building and uh, figuring I might as well save some time. So here, let's solve this. We're going to solve a formula for A. So we start off with the equation Now I need to get A out from underneath the radical, so let's square both sides. So we'll have B square equals 5 over CA. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by A in order to cancel the A out over here. Because it's underneath, it's in the denominator, it's doing me no good at all. There now. Okay, so I cancel out the A's and now I have AB squared equals 5 over C. That was my phone going off. Okay, now all that's left for me to do to solve for A is to divide both sides by B square. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to divide by B square. And I'm going to multiply over here by 1 over b square, which is exactly the same thing as dividing by b square. So the b squares cancel over here, leaving me with an a, and I'll have 5 over c b square. Okay, and that's the answer. Actually, the correct way to say the answer, so I'm even going to correct my math lab, is A over 5. A equals 5 over B square C. We try to keep these things in alphabetical order. Okay, let's go on. All right, here we have the formula 1 over A equals 1 over S plus 1 over Z, and we're solving for Z. So this is a rational equation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply through by the LCD. That is the number that will cancel out the A and the S and the Z. So what number will do that? A, S, Z. So my LCD, let me write it over here, my L. Woo, that's an ugly L. C, D is going to be A, S, Z. So here we go. I have the basic equation 1 over A. There's my phone again. 1 over S plus 1 over Z. Okay. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by A, S, Z times 1 over A. And since 1 over A is a fraction, let's make A, S, Z a fraction by putting it over 1. And this is going to equal A, S, Z times 1 over S plus 1 over Z. Now, what I need to do is distribute ASZ to 1 over S and to 1 over Z so that I have ASZ over 1 times 1 over A equals ASZ over 1 times 1 over S plus A S Z over 1 times 1 over Z. Now, why did I do this? I'll show you. A here 
is going to cancel A here. S here is going to cancel S here. And Z here is going to cancel Z here. So what are we going to have so far? We're going to have S Z equals A Z plus A S. And since we're solving for Z, all right, this is what I have now. Notice that I have a Z term here and I have a Z term here. I need to get my Z terms together. So I'm going to subtract AZ from both sides because remember, we have to solve for Z. That zeroes out the AZ over here, leaving me an AS. Meanwhile, over here on the left, I'm going to have S Z minus A Z. Now on the left, I pull out Z as a common factor. S minus A times Z equals A S then okay great I divide both sides by S minus A so the S minus A's cancel out here leaving me with Z equals A S over S minus A. Ta-da! All right. See it and weep. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.